Hey guys, my name is Tia. <laughs> I have lost over 70 pounds since um, February 2020. I, my highest, I was 282. At the end of 2019, I had some health issues. I went to the doctor. They told me some stuff. You know how it goes when you go to the doctor. It's like, what the hell? Um, didn't want to go to the doctor, but had to because, you know, I was struggling. Okay. But anyways, um, so February 2020, that's when I start, I say I started my wellness journey because that's when I was actually really serious about it. And I actually did the research and I actually like looked up these different things to do the work in order to make sure I could, you know, make this a lifestyle. Okay. Um, there's some people who want to do this for a diet to lose 10, 15 pounds, but when you're morbidly obese or obese, you can't lose 10 or 15 pounds. You drastically need to lose weight. And this is how I was able to do it. So first off, you know, go to the doctor, get your blood work done, kind of see what's going on with your body internally. Okay. Cause you might be like, well, I feel fine, whatever, whatever, but get the blood work done. Know what's going on with your body, your blood sugar, stuff like that. That's really important. Okay. And the other thing too, that really helped out was, um, I did a lot of research. I'm a kind of nerdy, kind of brainy, kind of like, I always want to find out information. And so I will do my own Google research, get my own books and stuff like that and find out what's going on, how I can change, what I have to change in order to get the results I want. Okay. Um, initially my goal was very small, you know, those 20 pounds, 30 pounds. And, and, and when you're at a very high weight, like I was at, you want to kind of like set your standards kind of not low, but just be realistic, okay? Because life happens, things happen, and you don't want to be bombarded with like, oh, you know, I should have done this, I should have done that. No, just starts really, really small. And the first thing I would say is really get your mental right, you know? If you have to go to therapy, there's online therapists, there's, you know, space talk, there's whatever you got to do to get your mind right, you got to get your mind right, okay? Because we see all the time on 600 Pound Life where... You know, they tell them, here's this diet, go for it. And then, you know, they're like three, two, three months later, they still haven't done anything because they weren't mentally prepared. They say they want to do it, but their mind wasn't right. So you got to get your mind all the way right. Okay. The next thing is move your body. Okay. Nine times out of 10, I guarantee you, if you're that high in the weight, yeah, there might be different hormonal issues and stuff like that, but let's just be real. We're probably lazy, okay? We'll probably eat the whole bag of nachos or whatever, chips, and the pizza, whatever, and then sit down and act like, okay, we can't do that. We got to move. The American Heart Association says that average Americans should be moving at least 30 minutes a day, okay? And when it comes to moving, you can do very simple exercises like going for a walk, um, you know, you could go, you know, on a trail at a park. Um, that will be a big thing for you. Okay. That will make your life, your heart, your body feel a lot better. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's definitely going to feel uncomfortable, but in the long run, it's going to feel good. Okay. Your body's going to be like, yes, yes, I want this. Okay. So that's the one thing. Okay. And the third thing is, it's really simple. It might be like, well, why are you telling me this? Because that's not food, but it kind of like, it kind of means the same thing is another thing is that you want to switch out and substitute your drinks. Okay. Nine times out of 10 or most likely most people don't drink enough water. Okay. Me included. Still struggle with it. Okay. But if you drink no water and you go to say sparkling water or flavor water, that's better. Okay. If you go from a drinking a Coke to a Diet Coke, that's better, okay? From drinking three Cokes to drinking Diet Coke, that's better, that's improvement, okay? Any little thing will help. From going from sweet tea to unsweet tea, that's gonna help, okay? That's going to help. Also, when it comes to that, when it comes to going from sweet tea to unsweet tea, it's gonna be a drastic difference. Your taste buds are gonna be like, whoa, this is, you know, bitter, this don't taste good. And it's not gonna taste good. Okay, it won't. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to taste good to switch out, you know, a sugary uh, candy bar with a, you know, a keto friendly or a low sugar or no sugar item. It's going to like be like a what the heck 
to your noggin. It is because you're not used to it. You're used to just chopping up and eating up whatever you want to eat, but you can't do that. Okay. Not if you really want to lose the weight, not if you're serious about weight loss. Okay. If you're not serious about weight loss, you can do it. You know, might lose one pound, two pounds, but if you're serious about the weight loss, you got to do the work period. You just got to do the work. And the other thing I would suggest is that you find motivation within yourself. And what I mean by that is that when you start losing weight and even up until the point where you see drastic weight loss, people are going to be like, yeah, good job. Way to go. Blah, blah. But then there's going to be a point where there's going to be silence. Okay. And the reason why there's silence is because there's going to be a point as you're losing weight that people are not going to be able to tell as much, but you notice it and still, you know, you notice the things that you're doing and you're not going to always get that praise from people, but you got to learn how to praise yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror, take a couple selfies, you know, take some before and after photos. Um, what I do sometimes, or most of the time I'll go on an app like, um, what is it called? Oh God. It's an app where, I forgot the name of it. I can't think of it. Um, Fonto or, I'm not Fonto. Um, I'll go on one of those apps where you can like put your one photo next to another photo. You know what I mean? Collage. Okay, yeah. So I'll go on there and I'll collage a couple photos. Or I'll get my an old photo from like eight months ago or three months ago and a photo from today. And I'll do a face-to-face -face thing. And I'm like, oh, damn, I look good. Wow. And I'm like, wow. And I congratulate myself. I'm like, damn, Tia. Yeah, good job. I see the difference. Because sometimes people are not going to see the difference. And that's perfectly, perfectly fine. They don't have to see the difference every single day. They don't have to see the difference in every single month. As long as you feel the difference, as long as you feel your clothes changing, you know, even by inches, you know, sometimes we get caught up. I was like that. Uh, a scale Nazi where I'm like on the scale, like every hour, every day, you know, uh, every second, after a poop, after everything, I'm just on the scale. Did it change? Did it change? Don't worry about that. You know, if you have to go, you can go on the scale every day. You can go on the scale every other day, once a week. However you decide to make you feel comfortable, you can do that. But it's not something that you have to do, like, you know, every single day. You know what I mean? Um, and another thing that really gets people is this BMI chart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, I went recently to the doctor and it's like, I know I lost all this weight, right? I know I lost at my heaviest. I've lost almost 80 pounds, right? But of course, with the BMI chart and stuff, it still says I'm obese. And it's like, it's almost like, damn, you know, I'm doing all this work and the, uh, this chart is still saying I'm obese. But if your weight, if your clothes have changed, like my clothes, I went from like a 2X in a shirt to a large from a size 22 pants to a size 14. Okay, so I know I'm doing the damn thing. So like I said, congratulate yourself. Congratulate your damn self, okay? You're doing it, you're doing it, okay? So don't worry more about that. I mean, yes, there's a BMI chart, yes. You know, get closer to the, to the weight you're supposed to go, okay? Go down, go keep going down. But don't let that be your, your you know, the forefront of your brain at the end of the day, you want to be healthier, okay, than you were yesterday or that you were a month ago or you were last year. As long as you're making progress, that's what matters. Progress, 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 okay? So if you want more videos like this, I'm going to cut it short. If you want more videos like this, connect to me on my channel. Also, I have an Instagram channel, uh, Instagram page called Coffee Talk with Tia, where it's all about wellness and life style just loving yourself positivity on that instagram page so you can hit you can hit me up on there you can hit me up on here where you want to hit me up just do it thank you all right guys bye